My name is Jonathan Parks, and welcome to Jonathan's Nature Craft. I must inform you that I do not live in this house by myself, but live here with other people. Sometimes other members of the household may have to walk through areas where I might be recording with other family members on the phone. If you hear any noise like that, please feel free to disregard. We are doing our best to get noise-canceling equipment, which may at least keep you from hearing exactly what is being said. Thank you for considering. Say for a little moment that it's just been a good day because... It's only been a few hours since I recorded the last video and will say that as the day gone on this is going to be long taken care of by the time this video is uploaded but today on the day when I'm recording the video I finally made the trip out to the post office to drop off the first cherry cardinal that you saw in some of the videos that I was working on before starting to work on the series to make this one and the lady paid me for it so we took care of that and it's gonna she's gonna probably already have it by the time this video is on but that is being recorded probably in a few days so that is just one thing I wanted to kind of mention as we continue this series where we work more upon this little cherry cardinal here. And finally today, I mean, I went out to the to a certain market. I forget whether it was called Lexington Creative Market, if I remember right. But out in the Lexington Green Shopping Center, po close to that post office, had some friends out vending out there. So decided to go out there and see them. And that's probably the reason why I kind of put on some different clothes than what I slept in and decided to put on a shirt over my dirty undershirt. So we took care of that. Now, I'd also like to mention that as far as this bit of work is going to go, it's just kind of a point where we kind of got certain grits we needed put into the cardinal to make it out and I say just kind of like taking something like a piece of 120 grit sandpaper here and after kind of using the 60 and the 80 and the last one kind of take a 120 this time and work a little ways into the bird try to make it so it's going to be kind of neat and everything else and so I say just kind of work as you go and I'll tell you that I'll put a little bit of a little extra grit underneath the little tail in the back just to kind of get rid of all the little noise and things and all the little stuff that goes on underneath it to try to sand away some stuff that we don't need to kind of try to make it so it's going to be a fit little bird and I say that this is just kind of like one of those things where we work the way we do it things make it a kind of similar way and to kind of know what it all shall come right down to and kind of make it so we see the bird where it comes up and kind of get rid of the bonus little freaky marks we don't need in the thing and I say just kind of sand along, sand along, sand along, because that's where the work matters the most, and sometimes I feel like it's hard enough to really even get this camera in a good place to be able to 
kind of work things up closer and see what we got here to do. And it's all going to be little things where we come down to this last grip, the 240. And that was one thing I got a whole lot of when I was ordering online. Uh, before that, I always kind of went to Lowe's and got the 220 grit, but during the pandemic, when so much was going on, unable to get out and shop for the things I needed, the way they were just getting sold out so fast, you know, the only thing I could probably get online in a big bulk was a bunch of 240 grits, so that was what I got, and I'd say that that was what it came down to once I kind of made all the good purchases we needed and I say I say just kind of working little ways doing what we do making things to where they're just coming out a good special way we see just to work little times and ways and uh, every little thing we make out of wood these days to uh, sand away all the problems that come up in the project and just narrowing it all down to just one little bit of work. Okay, so it comes down to where we kind of make little lines here that come up to about here and go down to about here when it comes down to where we just kind of like make a little beak for the cardinal to kind of put the little lines in for its face and all and come down to it we just kind of put little work down into the place just like this with a pencil to make those little marks. And one little other place we make is right along here, right along the chin to kind of put a little mark right in and see what this shall do. And I say put a little mark down here below. I say, I say that um, it comes time where we put a mark up here and what the up and I say make it so it's coming around just this way and then just kind of put little circles in that shall make the little eyes and I say put a little circle down in the middle and with all the type of work that comes this way into a piece I say this is just one thing I hope I'm doing well had a little moment of frustration there in between video clips so that's just what we kind of do here and so I say that I hope I've gotten this even enough with the sides. I'd say it looks like I probably do. And um, there's probably also just a little thing we do around here, up around the top of the head, and a little thing we kind of do around this way as well and kind of make it so we see what we're going to see. It's all going to come down to things where we just, um, and since I kind of have already sent out that first cardinal, don't really have it to go by, but should have gotten the picture around to do that with. So, I'd say, you know, hopefully to the best of my knowledge or ability, I have gotten the face out right, and this is going to come down to be the part that is going to be 
burnt with a wood burner into these lines and around these this area of the mask of the face so it's going to come down to seeing how this little freaking cardinal does when it all measures out to a little world that we have in us and that is just one of the things you're going to see that we do in a future video don't really know how long this one can last but it's probably going to be cut a little short here we had a little issue where I had to stop the video in the middle to look for a pencil just while ago and finally did find myself one and really 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 needed to kind of show you all how to do that little detail line and as of today the robin has come out of the oil and been toweled off the one that's been shown in a previous clip and that is something that we're taking care of right now and will be long taken care of by the time this is on YouTube. So thank you all for coming on, watching, keep in touch. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned.